Matt. Uh, Premier, uh, you've spoken about the possibility of a spring election in the wake of several resignations of your colleagues. Um, it seeming more like a certainty that there's going to be a spring election. Can you give any more indication if that's the case? Well, I wouldn't describe uh, it as a certainty. I don't think any decision, no, no decisions have been made, clearly. But, um, you know, been com there's been commentary about the fact that uh, there are uh, some people that are stepping out of public life. I, I think that what you're seeing is the, is the normal sort of renewal that takes place in the political process. Uh, I think it's a good thing. There are some people that have um, completed tours of duty in, in public life, have done uh, great work, but have decided for personal reasons, family reasons, in some cases perhaps financial reasons, that, that they want to go back uh, to their private lives. I think this is normal. Uh, it's something that I had expected. Uh, there have been virtually no surprises because in all of the cases so far these people had, a, had alerted me in advance that uh, they were nearing the end of their time in public service. Uh, there have been no decisions made on uh, when the next election will take place. Uh, you know, I stand by the comments that I made previously. I'm focused right now on the fiscal circumstances of the province, which uh, uh, you know, are serious. Uh, oil prices today uh, dipped down uh, to the range of $44 per barrel WTI prices, uh, another low point. And so, you know, this is of concern to us as a province. We're wrestling with uh, the preparation of the budget and the fiscal plan, the business plan that we'll put before Albertans for the next five and ten years. That's the pro that is the priority, that's the focus, and that's what I'll be focused on in the, in the weeks ahead. This is obviously the first Tory caucus meeting we've seen with members of the former Wild Rose. Um, many of your critics and observers are saying that you've taken Alberta's PC party on a sharp right turn. How progressive is Alberta's PC party now, and, and, and what can you say about what the influx of these new Tory members will do for the direction of your government? Oh, heavens. Uh, you know, I'm a progressive conservative. I've been a progressive conservative my whole life. The, the progressive conservative party remains progressive, and uh, you will see that in many of the candidates who will be running uh, for nominations, which uh, are currently underway across the province. Uh, there are uh, many uh, young people running, there are women running, there are really solid, uh, progressive-minded people and that speak to the values that, that you're asking about.